Hey guys, Stephen here, game developer at Pearl Lemon Games, and if you're interested in knowing more about us, you can visit us at pearllemongames.com. You can also chat with us there and we can help develop a game for you. Also, you can play our games, the games that we have created there. There's a link there that can route you to our games. So here's another video on my experience in using GDevelop 5. On my past videos, you've noticed that I've used different sprite, and right now I use a sprite that I got from their asset store. It's the one that Kenny has, uh, the asset lease for, I think it's the plain asset. So I used that and tried to create a simple game on it, same as the one before, but maybe a bit good on visuals. And I'm trying to make a timer. Uh, I had a hard, well, not really hard time, but I had, I have to do a couple of research to start a timer and to create a layout for it and to start or reset it every time you touch an object and end it as soon as you touch the finish line. So I made it and I managed to create a timer. This is my experience on gdevelop5 which is my first experience i have no knowledge at all and with this i can definitely say that gdevelop5 is good for uh starting developers as it is easy to understand there's a bit of uh, coding but they also have a guides on that it's not the to the point that you have to program the whole function itself so it's really pretty easy so yeah i can think we can think a lot of games using gdevelop 5 and it has its potential to create those those good fact good games that can really really sell on the market so yeah i hope you like this video on our test on gdevelop 5 when creating a timer and if you like our video, press the like button and if you have any comment, comment down below and we'll be sure to answer. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Catch you on another video. Bye bye.